Right? Down just a little bit. Don't know. Snatch it back, push it forward. Open the hatch. Sweep the links. Lift the cover. Push tab on top, slide it Give me a good burst on target number two. Good burst. There we go, down.
So this is flush. This issue we have is uh, Lincoln ammo.
now you're slightly right. I want you to Enemy. come at once. I'm bringing him back one now. Uh, uh. Right now he's going to do three round burst. Okay. Alright, your larger belt. How many belts do you get? So you're going to do two out of fucking. Uh, Adjustment made after the I trip. tried to push it. Just do it opposite. See where that went. Up two, and I would go four. Okay. The opposite. Okay. We will be after this. Okay. for one more firing iteration, right? Are you aimed in on it? Okay, go ahead and put it on sight. Alright, now what would that... Uh, sure, we have it now hot. We have it now hot again. Watch for you. 25. Alright, you're good to go. Pretty much right here we have the M240 Bravo with our Iron Man backpack and we have our an adapter for the 240 Bravo. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to 
put it together. Just pop that pan in. And you have to push in on both sides. And then this pan over here locks it right into place. Then you take your uh, 240 Ironman backpack. Go ahead and take the feed chute. Shift it around. And then as you can see, the two clamps slide inside. You open up the gator clips and it clips right, right in there. Now, this idea came from a soldier wanting to have mass firepower on the objective. So they came to us with an idea of how they could carry uh, much more 7.62 without using the ammo bear. Um, so they came to the engineers, talked to the engineers. The engineers developed this uh, backpack and uh, applying the feed chute to it, and you can carry 500 rounds. As you can see, once you put the backpack on, soldier assistant, and it snaps right into place. Ideally, we say that we want you to have the uh, feed chute coming over the shoulder and not under the shoulder. It prevents more twist and it uh, doesn't have the stoppage of ammo as it's feeding through the gun. And there you go. Pretty much you can fire it at this point in time in any position. You can fire it in the standing, you can fire it in the kneeling, and fire it in the prone. Uh, it has been tested. Uh, ATEC has tested it and we're continuing to test it with uh, other weapon systems. The other weapon system in which we've tested this weapon with is the Mark 48. These pins don't slide out very easily. And that's your detached apart. So you take it away from the 240 Bravo and soldiers came to us with another idea of utilizing the Iron Man backpack with the Mark 48. So what we did, we came up with another engineering design. All right, soldiers came to us with an idea saying they want to use the Iron Man backpack with the Mark 48. So we basically took the 240 Bravo adapter that already comes with the weapon system and we made a prototype of this which is our Mark 48 adapter, which slides into the 240 adapter. And with the locking pin, you lock that into position. Now you just take the 240 adapter and you slide it into the position for the Mark 48. And as you can see, it locks in on the right side of the gun, and it locks in on the left side of the gun. Now you just take the gator clips, remove the gator clips, and attach it onto the Mark 48 adapter. Now you have the same functionality of, that you have with the 240 with the Mark 48. Come on. Oh, that's cool. I'm going in. Two, three, go. Keep going, just listen to me. Don't spend so much time clearing it out. Yes, let's go. Just visually see that shit. Pull it out. Pull the fucking guts out. Yeah. Be aggressive with it, dude. You ain't gonna hurt her.
see how like if you don't have it lined out flat, you see how it's kind of a bitch to get that pin in? Yes, that's cool. See how much easy it slides around. Yeah, I think. Uh, Let's go harder. 